Um, good morning, Israel. Good morning, believers. Well, the beach is all torn up again. We got a bunch of rain and a bunch of trash. And shit came up again. Comes out the rivers and then washes up on the beach over here. So, good old Huntington Beach has been getting thrashed by these storms. See all the sand in the parking lot and stuff? Anyway, that's what's going on here. JD denies your word of truth. Good morning. Um... You know, we've been going into this, uh, I've been trying to teach the Bible, <clears throat> trying, um, like I said yesterday, people are, uh, people are going to believe what they want to believe, and that's where the prophet gets to get thrashed around because the prophet knows the truth but the truth is evil spoken of but um I just wanted to go into this real quickly um you know a lot of people claim Israel and they think they know Israel and they think they know this that and the other about the 12 tribes and Black Hebrew Israelism, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rechakwadash, Kwam Yasharala. Nonsense, devil, ancient Hebrew bullshit. That's my that's my belief. There you go. There's my belief. Um, let's be calm about it so everyone will believe what we're saying. doesn't work you can't fool the elect so um I, I there was a couple things I wanted to break down today but um of course the Lord opened me to something else he really wants me to um he wants me to keep qualifying <clears throat> Judah and Benjamin because a lot of people still probably think, J.D. Nyjah, you're a nut. You're so wrapped up in the tribes. Endless genealogies. Blah, blah, blah. It's not endless genealogies. It's it's the fact of the Old Testament that um, Judah and Benjamin are intricately linked. And, of course, the Lord opened me up to another place that's proven the point and I know it's getting redundant, but I'm only doing what the Lord asked me to do because I am of that. I am of those tribes. I'm of Benjamin, of Judah. So in Ezekiel, the 48th chapter, <clears throat> actually starts in 47. Heavenly Father, bless this message. The ears that hear us, give us a contrite, humble spirit. Give us love and understanding and peace and open our ears and our eyes and our hearts to what you're saying about the tribes of Israel and how important it is to understand who's who and what's what. Let your children that are listening know their place with you and understand you as their child, as washed clean, no need for repentance. The job's been done. Jesus died on the cross. We just need to have a conscience for our fellow man, love our fellow man, and love you like you love us. Amen. The repentance thing is another one. Ridiculous. I was listening to some gentlemen last night. They were breaking down um, Revelation, where it talks about the 12 tribes, the 144,000 elect, and what it means. They, were, they, <clears throat> they actually <clears throat> sat down, broke it down, and it matched up exactly with what I say. And I'm not going to go all into that right now. I've said it a hundred times, if not more. 
Um, there's no pre-trib rapture. Nowhere, nowhere in the Bible does it say, oh, and I'm, we're going to get out of here and, and blah, blah, blah. We're going to be tribulation is part of the story. It's such a big part of the story. It makes zero sense that the place of judgment, people aren't going to get tested. That's, that's what this place is. It's a place of judgment. It's a place of testing. It's the place of, are you a believer? Do you, do you, what do you believe? And so this channel, I try and get people to get off their little fear-based belief system and their psychotic vain imagination and understand what's really going on, what the Bible's really talking about. But everyone wants to hear the guy that's... <laughs> kissing their ass and oh I'm not going to let anyone hurt you and I can't stop anyone from hurting you you need to protect yourself anyhow um, so the Lord opened me up to this and it's the area where Ezekiel's talking about uh, the allotments for the children of Israel and so <clears throat> he's talking about future future, future, when we get to the kingdom, how it's going to look. And basically, this is where um, it's being portioned out for, for the certain types of spirits. So when we think of the 12 tribes, they're tribal because they have certain spirits. That's why they conglomerate together. That's why you see these black Hebrew Judites all follow along each other because they've 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 come up in the same spirit. They've they've been blinded, deafened. Their pride is off the chart. Um, they have no problem listening to the devil. They're all wound up in the devil, and the devil is puppeting them, puppeting them like Kukla Fran and Ollie for all you older people. The puppet show. Kukla, Fran, and Ollie. So anyway, let's get into this so uh, I can get on to another teaching. But um, it's the land divided among the tribes. So shall the, this is 4721. So shall ye divide the land unto you according to the tribes of Israel. So uh, people say, don't talk endless genealogies. And why is it, why does it talk about the tribes all the time then? You don't want to. You don't want to argue about genealogies. There is no argument. It's pretty simple. The book doesn't doesn't confuse things. There's no twelve tribes chart in the Bible. This is as close as you get. It's saying there's going to be a portion, and they're going to be a certain type. So yeah, Issachar might be the Mexicans for all we know, but they're a certain type. Benjamin might be the Jamaicans and the in the East Islanders to an extent, but that doesn't mean that they're not scattered. There's Mexicans all over the world. There's Jamaicans all over the world. There's American Indians that are in China, probably. I don't know. You know what I mean? So this whole thing about they're there, these people, that people, to an extent, but that's not, that's where in this genealogy, that's where you start having vain imagination. But anyway, you know, shall come to pass that you shall divide it by lot for an inheritance unto you and to the strangers that sojourn among you. There you go with the... Gentiles again, black Hebrew Israelites, Gentiles can't make it. There's something for you guys. Enjoy it. Diddle, diddle yourselves because that's what you're doing. You're just doing mental masturbation with your Gentiles. It says right here, the strangers that sojourn among you. And it goes into what happens to the strangers. They're outside the temple. I've said it before. I'll say it again. Either you're going to get it or you're not. It's a profane place outside the, the portion of Israel. It's a lot of that place is for, like like the black Hebrew Israelites say, it's they have that part true. But they don't understand that they're sojourning with us. They're going to be right outside the city, and they're going to be a part of our lives. They're not going to be slaves. They're going to be servants, you wicked fucking niggas. <clears throat> um. 
the strangers that sojourn among you, which shall beget children among you, and they shall be unto you as are born in the country among the children of Israel. And they shall have inheritance with you among the tribes of Israel. Does it get any clearer, Tahar? You... I, I'm... I can't stand these fuckers anymore. You say Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, you're, you're basically just a leper to me. And it shall come to pass that in what tribe the stranger sojourns, there shall you give him his inheritance. So, if you want to come along with me, Judah Benjamin, you get to be in the best spot. I'll prove it to you. The land portion for the seven tribes. So there's seven tribes that are lesser tribes. These are the seven. And it goes through them real quick because they're lesser tribes. They're not of the princely royal house. And it goes through the seven tribes. Dan will have a portion on the west side. Asher, a portion on the east side. Naphtali, a portion on the east side. Manasseh, a portion on the west side. Ephraim, a portion on the west side. Ephraim, Reuben, a portion on the west side. And Reuben, from the east side under the west side, a portion for Judah. So, among those seven tribes, what's it say? It says, those six plus Judah has a portion with those seven tribes. What did I say yesterday? Judah is all of Israel. That's Yehuda. We all have Judah. So when I say I'm Benjamin of Judah, the Lord told me, you're Benjamin of Judah. <clears throat> Every portion has, has to have Judah because Judah is of the princely tribes of the royal, uh, royal house. So then it goes into the Lord's portion. I'll show it to you. The Lord's portion. Right? And by the border of Judah. So this is where it goes into the Lord's portion. Judah is part, see it right there? It's of these guys. The land portion for the seven tribes. Boom, 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 boom. That's it. And then Judah. And then the Lord's portion. And by the border of Judah. I'm not talking about anything. I'm not talking about silliness, women, all that. I mean, yeah, that that's going to come to pass. These women are going to get their shit handed to them pretty soon. And these these wicked fucking lying pre-trib pricks are going to get their shit too because they don't understand the Bible. So the Lord's portion, and it goes into it, by the border of Judah from the east side to the west side, an offering shall be of Five and twenty-five thousand reeds in breadth and in length, and as one of the other parts from the east side to the west side, and the sanctuary shall be in the midst of it. The sanctuary will be in the midst of Judah. Do you believe me? Do you believe the Bible? The oblation that you shall offer unto the Lord shall be five and twenty thousand in length and of ten thousand in breadth. And for them, even of the priests, shall be this holy oblation towards the north and towards the west in breadth and length. And the sanctuary of the Lord shall be in the midst thereof. What are we talking about? We're talking about the Lord's portion. This other land, the land portions for the seven tribes. Not the Lord's portion. This, we're talking about closer to the sanctuary. We're talking where the priests are, the Levites. Let me go into it. And it shall be for the priests that are sanctified of the sons of Zadok, which have kept my charge, which went not astray from the children of Israel when they went astray, as the Levites went astray. So when we talk about the priests and the Levites, the priests didn't go astray. Those are the, those are the servants. They didn't know how to go astray. The priests were only doing service. They couldn't go astray. They were too busy. The Levites ended up getting in with these wicked Judites. And they were coming up with these laws. They were stirring up the laws. They were stirring up this. You got to have feast days. You got to have 
blue fringe. You got to have phylacteries on your head. You got to you got to look the part, man. They were playing the they were playing the game. They were putting on their masks. The priests didn't have time for that nonsense. The priests were too busy serving the people. And that's why it's talking about this. And the oblation, this oblation of the land that is offered shall be unto them a thing most holy by the border of the Levites. Most holy. So then it goes, it gets a little deeper. It talks about the first fruits. And over against the border of the priests, the Levites shall have five and twenty thousand and five and twenty thousand length and breadth, and they shall not sell it, neither exchange it, nor alienate the first fruits of the land, for it is holy unto the Lord. What's this oblation? Let's let me let me get it so you understand what I'm talking about. The oblation is the district. It's the area. It's it's a complete different district. It's it's the holy district. It's the Lord's district. This is where holy stuff goes on. This is where servants are. This is where people of higher Aya. Haya. I the higher man, the bingy man. Rasta man live up. Bingy man don't give up. It's the higher man, the I the Aya man. I and I. We, we walk with the Lord everywhere he goes. And they shall not sell it, neither exchange it, nor alienate the first fruits from the land, for it is holy unto the Lord. Who are the first fruits of the land, people? <clears throat> Do we know? The best part. So when, when we talk about the first fruits of the land, I, I've said this before, and a lot of you don't probably don't understand it. Some of you do. We are the land. We are the sanctified place. The first fruits will not go astray. They're the best part of the best. They came first. They'll always be first. They're always going to rule. They are of the Lord's portion. What's it say? And they shall not sell it, neither exchange nor alienate the first fruits of, of the land, for it is holy unto the Lord. Don't mess with Benjamin and Judah. We are the princes. You guys can argue with me all you want. You can go go wander away. You can go do whatever you want. When the when the final bell tolls, let me get it for you. Um, and then it goes into the measurements of this holy Lord's portion. Um, and they shall serve the city. And they that serve the city shall serve it out of all the tribes of Israel. Um, and the residue, let's, let's see what it says about the, um, the portion that is profane. And the residue and length over the oblation of the holy portion shall be 10,000 to, 10, to the east, to the west, over the oblation... Of the holy portion and the increase thereof shall be for food unto them that serve the city. Who's serving the city? It's up here. And the five thousand that are left in the breadth over against the five and twenty thousand shall be a profane place for the city, for dwellings and for suburbs, and the city shall be in the midst thereof. There's going to be a profane place outside the holy place where. The ones that didn't believe, that didn't understand, that are kind of dumb, that want to believe pre-trib rapture and the Gentiles don't make it and Joseph, that when these people are profane, they don't have the right mindset. They don't get to get into the Lord's portion. They're outside the city and that's what it's talking about. The, the profane portion pushed out. Profane. Let's see what it says. A profane place. 15. For general use by common land. Common. The commoners. You don't want to be in the common lands. That's why there's few that find their way into the Lord's portion. Let's go on. So you understand that that's where the 
people that don't have the right belief system is going to be. And the oblation shall be 5,000 and so on and so forth. And the residue shall be for the prince on the one side and on the other side the holy oblation and of the possession of the city over against 500,000 oblation towards the east border, westward over against the 25,000 for the west border, over against the portion for the prince. And it shall be the holy oblation, the holy district, and the sanctuary of the house shall be in the midst thereof. What, what house are we talking about? We're talking about the house of Bethlehem Ephrata, where Benjamin and, Jew, Benjamin and Jesus were born. The, this is the houses of the princes. Not bragging, I'm just saying. <laughs> I have a I have a certain calling and I can't deny it, so I'm just trying to get you to understand where I'm coming from. Moreover, verse 22, here's the here's the meat, and then we'll close out. And i I wanted to get into something else. Moreover, from the possession of the Levites and from the possession of the city, being in the midst of that which is the princes, it's all the princes, the princes of Judah and Benjamin, all of it belongs to the royal house of Judah. But Benjamin is the primary governor. The law, we're the ones that are going to be the The government is on, is given to Benjamin. It's on the shoulders of the Lord. We're right there at the head. We're it in the holy portion. So here it is. Moreover, from the possession of the Levites, from the possession of the city, being in the midst of that which is the princes, between the border of Judah and the border of Benjamin shall be for the prince. Hello? Anybody home? Knock, knock. The Lord's portion. Moreover, from the possession of the Levites and from the possession of the city, being in the midst of that which is the princes, the whole district. Between the border of Judah and the border of Benjamin shall be for the prince. And as for the rest of the tribes, from the east side unto the west side, Benjamin shall have a portion. And from the border of Benjamin, Simeon shall have a portion. And from the side of Simeon, Zebulon will have a portion. And from the border of Zebulon, Gad will have a portion. This is the land which he shall divide by lot under the tribes of Israel for inheritance. And these are their portions. Who's, which tribes are in the holy portion? Issachar, Zebulon, Gad, Benjamin, Simeon. There's seven tribes over here, and there's five that are in the Lord's portion. Why why Simeon, Zebulon, Gad, why? Issachar, why? Why Benjamin? These are the tribes that the Lord trusted. These are warrior tribes. Gad, Zebulon, Simeon, Issachar. These are a lot of the tribes that stayed home during the... They're, they're the servant tribes. They're the ones that were always ready to stand up for the Lord, stand up for the people of Israel, fight to the death. They weren't afraid of death. They... they they knew death was only a passing thing till the next regeneration. So what's it say, people? Do you understand Judah and Benjamin? That is the print. Bethlehem Ephrata. That portion is between Judah and Benjamin. That portion is where Jesus was born. That portion is where Benjamin was born. So that's, that's the lesson the Lord wanted me to throw out to you because I'm not, I don't, I don't care about the rapture. I don't care about the tribulation. It's going to be what it's going to be. If you're in, if you're in your spot, it doesn't matter. If you're thinking all these vain imaginations that 
the Lord's going to come swoop you up and you're not going to have to, to stand up for him. You're going to be in the profane place with these outside the city with the other knuckleheads. Oh, I thought, I thought, yeah, there's going to be gnashing of teeth. Why? Because you had the wrong doctrine. You don't, you don't know the story. J.D. Nigel, word of truth, I love you, believers. I'm trying to explain to you that royalty is royalty. You can, you can listen to these other silly willies. If that's what, if that's what turns your knob, fucking tune in. I'm just saying, if you really want to know the Bible, you got to get, you got to listen to the princes of the power, not, not all these false prophets. J.D. Nigel, I'm out.